Yes, uh, good afternoon and uh, thank you for the introduction. As you already mentioned, then, uh, I'm Paul Lias, I'm head of uh, space at the Ministry of Economic Affairs and Communication for Estonia, which is the ministry responsible for Estonian space policy, uh, for creating the policy, executing it, and also thinking about new opportunities, how to uh, use space for our uh, uh, economy, and also how um, responsible for the space budget and uh, all, all the Estonian space issues. So my daily work is very interesting. And uh, also thank you for the opportunity so, so I can share the Estonian perspective on uh, space technologies and uh, what are the Estonian ambitions, what are we doing right now. Um, if we take into account how the space sector has uh, changed in the past years, then in the past 20-15 uh, yeah, years, then it has created many opportunities for especially for small countries like Estonia and also Latvia, uh, where we can benefit out of, uh, out of them. And I mean, not only that the governments can benefit, but I think that benefits are more even to the private sector. So how can uh, uh, we are talking about cheaper access to space and also uh, more uh, data from space, which is available for free. So how can we create new businesses and uh, how can uh, we develop our uh, technology sector, especially? Normally, if you talk about Estonia, then we, Estonia is not known for space, at least today. And my task is that soon Estonia is known for space. What we are doing there uh, should travel around the globe. Estonia is more known for e-Estonia, for e-governance and uh, it's it's of, of, of course of course very good, but uh, I hope that soon we can uh, Estonia can be also a very well known space nation, and therefore one of our goals is to use the same technologies and what we have developed already and uh, using on ground like all the technologies behind our e state. How can we export this knowledge and experience? To the space sector so it's one of our uh, key tasks in our space policy so how, how really uh, how, how we can spin in our knowledge um, before i can uh, i will say what we are going to do exactly in, in the next years i will just make a brief overview about our uh, space history so estonia has been active in the space uh, in space research already for more than 200 years. It started in Dr. Observatory. Uh, cooperation agreement with uh, European Space Agency was signed in 2010 and 2013 uh, was the first Estonian satellite, test tube uh, one launched. But then I was also one of the students in, in the team. So it was one of the really key milestones for our space uh, space sector which kicked off many uh, many activities and also uh, created uh, this generation of new engineers who started to develop uh, cool cool things and uh, uh, six years ago estonia became a full member state um, of the european uh, space agency and since then our activities have really uh, grown and today I can really say that uh, the Estonian space ecosystem is growing very fast. Uh, for example, exactly one year ago, uh, our minister signed the Estonian space policy and program for the next years to have a really a clear target where we should go in the next, uh, next years. And what are the activities? Last year, we also started to work on our national space law and this year, we have increased our investment into space by 2.5 times. It really shows that the decision makers believe in uh, the space sector, what we do, and uh, it is uh, clear what are the benefits and uh, economically, and also how, how we can inspire with uh, being active in space, in space domain. So, very short overview about maybe some key uh, KPIs of the 
uh, Estonian space policy, uh, then the main idea is that the, the European Space Agency is, a, is our procurement agency. So in Estonia, we don't have our own uh, space agency. Uh, ESA works uh, as the procurement agency, and we in the Ministry and Enterprise Estonia, we create the Estonian space policy and su subscribe to ESA optional programs, which will help to develop our technology sector exactly on the speci specific fields we are interested in. In the next uh, slides, I will uh, tell you more about uh, the technology directions. Uh, and um, maybe in the future, we will also think about our own national space agency, but today, uh, cooperation with ESA is the cheapest and easiest way how to, to, uh, how to support and develop our technology sector. Also, our uh, clear goal is to uh, launch every year something to space. Is it a satellite or just a payload on, an, on, on a satellite? Uh, both are okay. And the main idea is to keep continuity in the technology sector so that our companies and universities can develop something and have the experience how to do some uh, technology development. Also, uh, we are planning to, or already the number of companies is doubling uh, we, we are working to get more users for space data applications in government and also in the private sector, how to make uh, sales and other uh, processes more efficient, for example. Also, uh, we are already day part in the uh, ESA science mission, and we are also working to be uh, active in other, other science missions in the near future. So, Let's see how it goes. And as I mentioned uh, before, then we are not only interested in, in the spin-off uh, spin perspective, so how to use space technologies on grounds, but also how to spin them in. So how to use, uh, spin in the Estonian experience, for example, in uh, cybersecurity, the space domain. So how can we use our knowledge in cybersecurity and uh, make, make something cool in, in the space domain? And finally, as I mentioned before, then uh, related to the cybersecurity question, uh, also our space law will address it. I'm going to tell you about it on the very last slide. If uh, we talk now about the Estonian industry and technology policy for space, then it can be divided into three main topics. First of all, cybersecurity. So here we are talking about mission control, and flight software uh, for satellites, how to protect uh, satellite uh, uh, onboard data, how to protect the service, how to protect payloads. Estonian companies are already, already today developing cybersecurity exercises, um, mainly, of course, for uh, to, uh, the cybersecurity exercises are meant to be used on ground. But now we are already working on the space cybersecurity exercises. So on ground, for example, we are protecting a power plant, uh, but in space cybersecurity exercises, we are changing the comp component. So instead of a power plant, we are uh, protecting, for example, a satellite, and uh, there, are, there are ground stations, etc., in use. So it's a direction that where we are going and how to use e-governance uh, in the space domain. Second topic, is artificial intelligence. So under AI, we may uh, understand remote sensing. So how to use observation data for database decision making. So with help of uh, uh, information from satellites, we can monitor what is going on in or around Estonia, and we can uh, see this long uh, uh, timelines, and we can predict what, what is going to happen or where we should focus to go uh, measure something or so therefore satellite data is uh, the fuel for this kind of applications how to make government and also sales processes for example uh, more efficient then estonian startups uh, are developing autonomous robots mainly for delivery for example but the same uh, technology partly can be also used on uh, mars uh, or moon for example on rovers so it's also one direction we are right now looking into uh, on which missions uh, our technology companies could, uh, could be involved in these uh, new missions on Moon or Mars together with the European Space Agency. 
and predictive maintenance, which is related to uh, uh, reaction wheels, for example, is also one of the topics uh, we are uh, very interested in uh, and our companies are working on. Third topic is innovation, which is more uh, hardware uh, related. So uh, first of all, optical devices, uh, a success story which has grown out from the SV1 project. And we have been active on the science missions, material science, energy storage, I will tell you more about. So Estonia is is a member state. Uh, so today we have had 25 companies involved in these activities, uh, more than 80 projects uh, since 2010. And uh, soon there will be more than 100 companies uh, interested already in the project. So the interest in Estonia is uh, quite high and uh, the companies are very have been very successful. One of the best success stories has been Skeleton Technologies, who is developing uh, supercapacitors, uh, which are mainly used in the transportation sector. Skeleton is one of the next uh, Estonian unicorns, and their success story started actually with uh, the first ESA project. So the ESA project validated their technology, which helped them to raise venture capital money. So therefore, it really shows that uh, ESA is also one of the best ways how to validate that what you are doing has some value and venture capital, it's make, it makes it for venture capital easier to invest in your. ESA big business incubation center, uh, you will hear more about it in the next presentation. It's also a no-brainer because it's a great small value than we invest in. Um, so in uh, European Space Week, which uh, a concept that we developed uh, during uh, uh, Estonian uh, EU presidency also together with the uh, European Space Agency. So it shows that how uh, also small countries can create great uh, concepts and um, uh, huge uh, space events in uh, in Europe. And this stop is our national mirror site, <coughs> so where we can uh, make uh, Copernicus information available for Estonian companies. And uh, right now we are developing it further. So can we add even more uh, satellite data from private uh, companies and so that our technology companies have a better environment to offer uh, remote sensing uh, services. So as I mentioned, space cybersecurity is one of the key priorities for us. Therefore, we have started the Stone Space Cybersecurity Missions as a program to create the environment where our technology companies, space uh, or cybersecurity companies can uh, test and validate their software for the space domain. As I mentioned, the first uh, cybersecurity exercises are already being uh, developed and also held. Our next step is also to validate uh, uh, hardware in space and uh, cybersecurity software to really have it in orbit the validation and hopefully soon in the next uh, five years of our own uh, mission. And uh, to start growing the space cybersecurity um, community, we are planning to start the annual space cybersecurity conference uh, in, uh, in Tallinn. The co first conference will uh, take place uh, already in November 21. So more information about this concept will be released also soon to really uh, have a showcase what, what what are the, are the challenges in uh, space cyber security and where are the new opportunities? So I think it's also very interesting here in this, uh, this region. And finally, if you talk about uh, e-governance and our space law, then uh, space traffic man management is one of the topics uh, we are focusing on. It, so we are talking about sustainable space, uh, the, the sustainable use of uh, space. And we see that the space traffic management is a global challenge and it's all about trust and communication. So it's basically the same issue we have been working on uh, with e-governance for the past decades, how to exchange information among different entities and databases, among the private sector and also public sector. And we see that uh, we can do something here and we can solve a global challenge. So we are planning to develop a e-service for satellite registration, which will make the process easier and enable streamlined communication among all parties. 
and the Estonian national space law will enable uh, this kind of e-service and space traffic management. Uh, so thank you uh, for listening. And um, yes, that was a very brief overview about the Estonian ambitions in space. And uh, hopefully we'll also have a soon Estonian astronaut. It will happen for sure, but we don't know if next year or in five, 10 years, but it will soon happen.